My years of watching the Dukes of Hazzard when I was a child, I never thought would come into play with me loading and unloading cars, crawling in and out windows and sliding down hoods. And Angie Brotherton. We're company drivers. We've been here for nine months and we really enjoy Reliable and we're here to tell you our story. What made us decide to come to Reliable was we had noticed the trucks up and down the highways and how good they look. We had hauled motorcycles for several years previous, seeing about every motorcycle there was, so we decided to start exploring the different types of cars and the excitement in hauling them. We had called and we'd done the application and Tim Sleeman had called us and we got to talking to him. He did a video interview with us and after talking to him, just brought us on board and we decided to commit and decided we were gonna do this, but Tim was excellent. I've been driving in seven years. I've been driving 26. And we met, I went with him on the road for a year and decided, hey, I can do this. Got my CDL, so we went on the road together. She drives like from noon to midnight, and then I, do, I drive from midnight to noon. That's kind of how we split it up. So the truck's a 2023 Kenworth T680. I have a 156 inch ARI sleeper. It's 324 inch wheelbase with a Cummins engine. I like the convenience of having the shower and the bathroom. No more showers in the truck stops and <laughs> best part, not timing my coffee in the morning <laughs> to find a truck stop. But uh, And also the convenience of having the sink, cook our own meals and no longer searching for a place to stop and get something to eat. I can prepare meals, have meals ready and we're ready to sit down and eat. This is actually a surprise that we got Christmas. Tom, the owner, called us into the office and we didn't know if we were in trouble <laughs> or what was happening. We go in there and he surprised us with this right before, well, actually the weekend of Christmas. Very appreciative, almost in tears. Ron was stunned, Tom even asked him, hey, what's wrong, are you okay? And <laughs> he was just stunned, so really neat. So uh, best Christmas present ever. We even got a Christmas card with it. It's awesome, we love it. Yeah, I mean, and for Tom to take the time and choose us, and I mean, that was just an honor. I mean, that we were being recognized for our works. So. It's always nice to be recognized. Well, come on in and check out the truck. So this is the inside of a new 2023 Kenworth. It's got the digital DAS, built-in GPS, built-in Sirius radio, Bluetooth, everything. All right, let's start it up here. Yeah, one of my, the greatest features is this Kenworth, the smart wheel. You can work everything from right here at your fingertips. Stereo, cruise, the dash is all digital. You can move, stroll it up and down and it'll give you different readings, you know, different transmission temperature and all that, different controls. But everything's really easy, real accessible, you know, easy to reach, uh, the view's great. Two-tone interior, has custom-built cabinets all around the top. And the seats are heated and they're also cool. They blow cool air out of the cushions down here. So after you load cars and get all hot, you can get in and turn that on and it, and it blows cool air up on you. Very, it's great, we love it. And of course the heated seats in the winter, can't beat them. So it's a 12-speed automatic transmission, which is super nice when you're in traffic. You don't wear out the knee, your old clutch foot. Lane departure, like if you if you go over the line, it beeps. Or if you get too close to the vehicle in front of you, it'll apply the brake. The cruise control will slow down. You pace you with the car in front of you. It almost just drives itself. My favorite feature is the side door. A lot of the trucks don't have it, but I love it for like getting groceries and supplies. It's easy, just open up the door, put them in without crawling through the front of the truck and rustling everything through between the seats. All right, come on inside and I'll show you the inside of our truck.
Okay, welcome to our home on the road. This is all of our neat features that we have. For one, the table is our favorite because we get to actually sit down and enjoy a meal without sitting on a bed. But, and then our bed's back behind here, it folds down. Of course, a sink, which is great for getting our dishes and all of that, and got our coffee pot. Love all the storage we got down here. We got all of our drawers for our storage. Plenty of room in here for our canned goods and everything else. We got our generator that we can run our ceiling air, which is up there whenever we're on the road. Another neat feature that we really enjoy is our window shades here. So you can have it during the day like this to let a lot, little light in. And then whenever you want to just black them out, like if you're going back here sleeping, you just pull that down and it blacks out the shades. I think that's a really neat feature. We've got a little medicine cabinet here, which is handy for keeping our toothbrushes and all of that in. And of course, all the amazing cabinet space. I love all the storage space that we have. This is our cabinet for hanging our clothes. Down here, quick peek. <laughs> is all of our work clothes, easy access, considering we just wear browns and oranges every day. My favorite feature is the fridge. It's a full-size fridge and freezer. So when I stop and grocery shop now, I don't shop for just three or four days. Now I can just shop for a couple of weeks. Then the microwave is actually a microwave, convection, broiler, dehydrator, air fryer. I don't know, it's got many, many uses. I still haven't figured it out. I'm still reading the book. But the whole cooking and the full-size fridge, my favorite part, being on the road, since there's not too many mom and Paul good places to eat anymore, at least we can get that in the truck. And here we've got our TV. Uh, we actually got a sound bar, so when we're sitting there eating, watching a good movie, it gives us the full effect. Football games, any kind of sports, hockey. We really enjoy watching hockey, but we enjoy the TV for our downtime. We got our full-size shower here, uh, which, we absolutely love our my favorite part no more truck stop showers <laughs> going in waiting in line get all our showering done here and then one of the favorite parts right here is our curtain we can close these and that one closes over too and it's magnetic so it closes together so whoever's back here they can get a good night's sleep get the rest going down the road while the other's driving and don't hear all the music and riff rap of what's going on up front. And then over here, a neat part. If you know my husband, he'd be the first one to fall. But this here actually comes down so it makes an even floor. Got my little step stool so I can reach my cabinets. Love our storage, but like up here, we've got our air fryer, our toaster, our instant pot, extra cooking essentials. Yeah. Here, this is for our air conditioner. That's our rooftop air up here when we're running the generator. And this is our inverter that runs all of our power when the truck's not running. And this is our bathroom light. And this handy little thing is the remote for our fan. The bathroom has a fan in it. You can turn it on, you can pull the air in, pull the air out. So, neat little feature for some extra air when you're in the shower. And that's the inside of our trailer. So now let's go outside and look at the trailer and see what it's all about. So this is the trailer, I'm going to show you the inside of it. These side doors make it real nice so you can get in there and strap them down. You have plenty of room. Okay, so this is a floating floor what they call a floating floor trailer. These racks here, I can let them all the way down for high profile vehicles or raise them to make this whole floor flat. So this one here, you can make this entire floor flat. It goes up and down. Each one of these go left, make it totally flat. See that one? They all go left. And it'll be off for a real low profile vehicle. And then these here, you can put where, you know, when you load the top, you can move these wherever you want them to go. Up or down. You can tilt it both ways. And just so you can, you can uh, haul a variety of different vehicles. And you just move everything to adjust the height to get the next vehicle in. And uh, everything has safety pins, so nothing can fall down. You can always keep them on them safety pins. 
So going down the road, it don't collapse and fall on the car. It's really a neat trailer because you can haul any kind of, just such a big variety of vehicles. So compared to other trailers, the first trailer we had when we went to work here, uh, it didn't have this floating floor, so we were limited to what we could haul. So this with the floating floor, you could haul anything, you could haul so many different cars. You know, like a, just say NASCAR, for example, where they're real low to the ground, you can make this all flat. You get, you get three on the bottom and three on the top. So we haul a lot of Corvettes and uh, Ford GTs, things that are real low to the ground. So that's when that floor comes in easy, you know, real nice. Or you can lower it all down real low for like uh, full-size pickups or vans. We can haul up to like a big Ford F-150 crew cab, you know, even with a camper shell on there, just move these all the way up to the ceiling. We have plenty of room. We can just about haul anything. And one of the funnest things about working for Reliable has been the culture of everything and all the people that we work with. Uh, everybody's been great. We go to events, meet several people over and over again, the same folks. And the neatest thing is when you're done or another team or the other drivers are done, everybody's great about coming over and asking you if you need any help, if you're done. But if not, they're willing to stay and help. They don't leave nobody behind. It's great how everybody just always takes care of each other. And one of the neat things, it's always an adventure being with my husband, but I want to let women out there know, get into trucking. I mean, it's a lot more fun. It's not as challenging as you think it is once you learn the road and you get used to your everyday life and everything going on. Trucking for women's fun. I wish a lot more women would get into it. It's a big adventure, whether you do it with your partner or with someone else or alone. I highly encourage for women to get out and we need to see more women truck drivers. See, I wouldn't do it if I didn't have a big stud with me. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the neatest, funnest parts of the job so far has been getting to meet Kate Upton. <laughs> yeah, met yeah. Kate Upton. He didn't realize that's who it was until after we walked away. And <laughs> yeah. he made a little comment and she told him, welcome to Texas. And we walked away. I was like, that was Kate Upton. <laughs> So, but yeah, a lot of the customers, you know, and the different stories behind cars. And you know, we've had one guy that uh, had gave his son his car, you know, what was it, 1973, I think yeah, it was, yeah. and just hand it down to it. Just the neat stories behind the cars and the customers. So. And thank you for taking the time to let us show you our rig. And now we got to go. Time to go load. Hit the road. See y'all on the next one. All right, thanks for taking the time to let us show us, show you our rig. Yeah, I can <laughs> Okay, thank you for uh, taking the time to let us show you our rig. Thanks. <laughs> Man, it's, I got, that's too much to talk. Okay, Toothpick. ready? <laughs> no, it ain't. And three, two, one, go ahead. And thank you for taking the time to let us show you our rig.